모든 힘을 담는다. 헛! 헛! 헤이 헤이 헤이, what's going on? My name is Ega and welcome back to another episode of Laurel Heroes. Today we're gonna have a triple analysis of the Water Elga, Fire Elga, and Dark Elga. So, let's start with the one we get for free. Our first striker and one of the best strikers, the Water ones. Water Elga is a very good striker. She's one of the first strikers that you get for free at the beginning of the game. She can be built with a lot of, of damage and critical rate, or with the buff rate. Although this is secondary, since she could only put two life extraction per turn. In addition, her survival is good, and her basic attack could steal life. She's the Dragon Protector, very worth having at high levels. Let's check her stats. The best stats to focus on are critical rate and critical damage. Now let's check her skills. All of her skills are really good. Her first skill, I think this one right here, is still life. Her second skill and ultimate skill called poison the enemies. So they are very good sets of skill. And talking about sets, her best Equipment is six pieces of the first set. Two pieces with percent of attack, one piece with percent of defense, and one with percent of life. Rings and necklace try to use critical hit rate and critical damage. Optional sets you can use the strength set, precision set, extraction set, and I believe you also can use this one right here, chuck set. He works very well with her second skill. In the cool zone, with very high speed, she can destroy a whole enemy team. She's dangerous to face. That's why she is highly recommended. Her second skill is the most used in this instance of the game. And if she does not end the life of her enemies, and then her stern, she can summon her dragon to end the fight. Likewise, being a striker, her defense is reduced and she can be taken out of the fight very easily. Now, let's take a look of Dark Elga. I think I'm gonna get Dark Elga pretty soon because she's a really good warrior and could be a very nice element to have. The information I have about Dark Elga is little, for which the analysis is not exact. So looking at her skills, a very useless hero to invest resources. Although I have seen her in closing and her performance is very good. Of course, it helps her very much her dark element. In terms of rage of the history of the game, I think she's much more useful for farming than anything else. Let's check our stats. The best stats to focus on are critical rate and critical damage. On her skills, her skills are good, but we a lot of damage and are designed for strikers, like this one right here. And about her equipment, uh, I can show you because I don't have her, but try to use six pieces of vengeance, which is the regular warrior equipment two pieces with portion of attack two pieces with portion of defense ring and necklace critical rate and critical damage optional set you can use the strength set precision set extraction set or shock set in the colosseum is where she can shine although i think we return to the same you can get other heroes who can perform much better. Now let's check the final Helga, the fire one, which is another warrior. There is a little information that I have been able to gather about fire Helga, but I think there are better heroes of the fire element that are more worth investing on. 
Although seeing her skills such a reduction defense or stunning all enemies with her ultimate could be useful. She's honestly someone that I would like to try in PvP. So for this type of characters that I do not have, I hope to give you an update analysis later on. If a fire team is your liking and you are not afraid to try new teams, try Fire Alga and try to get her the buff rate really high. She could be someone who makes a big difference in PvP. The best stats to focus on are speed and the buff rate. About her skills, her second skill and ultimate skill are really good. Being able to stun enemies is always welcome. Furia Dragonic. <laughs> About her equipment, uh, six pieces of the Bengans set, two pieces with portion of attack and two pieces with portion of defense, rain and necklace, speed and the birth rate. Optional set, you can use the defense set or efficacy set. On PvP in, in the cold zone, I think it will be her speciality. If we set up a spirit team and a sniper who can move before her to give her the speed and she can use her ultimate skill, Hoping that all elements, enemies will get stunned so you can finish them up. And that's it, we're gonna sit a uh, fight in the Colosseum. Okay, here we are. Let's see if we can see Helga second skill or Helga ultimate in PvP. To be honest, it's a little bit hard to use Helga right now because I'm on top of the PvP ladder, so um, it's gonna be difficult to use all of her skills. But right now, I see three enemies that got stunned, one weak one, and fire. Chrome that could do a little bit damage. Let me think. I think I can use this skill on this guy. And um, let's wait. That's not good. And um, we're gonna see the ultimate. Yeah. We might <laughs> lose the fire. But I need. I'll get to survive. Um, she did. That's really good. Got nice to stun. So, yeah, we're gonna see the dragon. Okay. And um, use the basic one. I can use her again. Let's use it against this guy over here. Wow. That's too much damage. Well, we can see the dragon. Let's use the dragon and let's see how much damage we can do with the dragon alone. Show we? Very good damage. And we can finish the fight with using the uh, basic attack. Wow. It works well, so I'm gonna say thank you very much for being here. If you like the video, please uh, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. And alas, I hope to see you soon. Later.